This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel K and I'm back with another tour review and today, Bombers from the Legacy line. My cousin had the original, I talked about it in my Skullgrin uh, review and uh, this one is, um, I like the fact that they kept the uh, more organic look uh, that they also did with uh, Iguanas. Somehow I didn't mind it uh, that it was more robotic on Skullgrin, but that's just me. Uh, Bombers, a character I barely know anything about except that me and my cousin used to think that they were within their shelves holding the uh, ultimate weapons that would destroy every other toy that we had, so... Eh. But uh, yeah, I'm very, you know, if they're gonna do all the Pretenders, might as well get them as they come because I do like the idea of Pretenders now. I hated Endmasters, I still don't like the idea of having a humanoid in your head and stuff like that, but Pretenders, for some reason, I'm, I'm fine with it, so. Uh, especially the Decepticons. I, I think only the Decepticons. So, uh, before I take a look at the figure, uh, make sure you check out later my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm extremely proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectible, fantastic online store, where you can get incredible uh, shipping, uh, wrap really all nicely. Uh, or if you're in the Ottawa area, you can just go to his place and pick it up. And uh, yeah, it's a fantastic place. And uh, at the end of the video, you can get your 10% discount code. So take a look. And now, let's roll the intro. Okay, and first impression looks pretty good. Bombers was, like I said, my cousin's uh, pretender, and uh, well, I do miss my cousin. We had so much fun together. Unfortunately, he passed away. Uh, instructions, standard legacy stuff. Looks really good. I tell you what to do with uh, the uh, the weapons and you know the wing piece. Let's call it that. Standard stuff, looks really good. The box, standard core class, you know, artwork on top, a little alt, uh, robot mode on the side, product shots and warnings. Standard stuff. Uh, accessories will go as shown here and here. I don't know if I have to remove them for transformation. We'll take a look later. And his weapon. Oh, that's a tight uh, hand joint. Looks really good. I mean, look at the face call. Really fun. Does it? Does it move? Can you? It looks like there's a joint. Hold on. Nah, nah. If I'm looking at the back, there's no articulation. It looked. It kind of looked like it would. That would have been so cool. Uh, the head. Rotate, would do 360, but it's kind of hindered. Uh, well, it's articulation. Uh, Mary, uh, Ferris wheel, like there's no tomorrow. You can do the merry-go-round. If you move the arm up like that, then you give him, uh, well, not really. You can't really do the Johnny Cage. Oh, well. Uh, so no nut punch with this one. And you have the standard uh, elbow band for core class because it's a ball joint. No attitude, no hand rotation. You would, well, I mean, kick forward, kick back, 90 degree, uh, the foot, the uh, ankle tilt, and back and forth. A good one, too. And then, you know, you can elevate him, you can stand on his toes, no problem, because of transformation. And no ab crunch. Okay. No up and uh, no up and down either for the head. So, but look at the paint on this man. The chest is painted. This is gray plastic, whitish gray plastic, uh, blue accessory. I mean the guns, blade, look uh, really good. Oh, maybe I inverted them. I inverted them. Sorry. I think if I go like this. Oh man, that looks way better. Oh yeah, sorry about that guys. This looks really good. Wow. Yeah, I, I like this uh, a whole lot more. 
don't care if uh, I'm doing it wrong or whatever, but it looks really good. Uh, I like the eyes, piercing yellow, golden, the blue inside the uh, bat ears. So I guess he's a cousin of Mind Wipe. Um, what else? The crotch details are really good. The waist, the legs. Uh, nice details on the shin. The uh, shin guard looks pretty good. The feet are, you know, you have almost claw-like. Looks really good. And in the back you have a little backpack because of the alt mode. And hollowness behind the leg. Uh, do we have hollowness? Yeah, a little bit hollow inside the arms as well, so it's too bad. I don't mind it too much though. But man, he looks uh, he looks really good. And before transformation, I'm going to do some size comparison. With Legacy Iguanus, a fantastic mold. Honestly, one of my favorite core class. Legacy Skullgrin, who will forever remain in robot mode. And a fully weaponized Nemesis Prime for no reason at all. I love this toy. All right, now let's look at transformation. And there we go. It looks really good. I mean, this is a uh, fun transformation. It's really quick. I mean, the arms don't really pegging anywhere. Like there's a, if you look here, there's a very, very, very little peg that goes into that very, very little hole. Just like that. So that's how the arms hold up. And uh, I had it wrong, guys. When you're in uh, robot mode, you want to have this hidden, um, like this. And then in alt mode, so when you transform it, you have the organic stuff hidden under. So, sorry about that. The weapon storage is uh, kind of ingenious. You just, you know, put it, then uh, it's a two-peg uh, system. Well, I mean, not two-peg, but actually it holds really, really well. There's two little holes there, you just push it down and... Yeah, holds really well. Um, it's one of those cases of robot where you want to keep your feet clean because when you transform, you smell it and you hear it. And you're going to get an ear infection when it is like that. Wow. Uh, nice details. Uh, you know, kind of like turbines when you know, with screws. It's kind of weird, but looks good. Uh, the blue, the gray, and then this purple windshield. Looks good. Mine's a little, you know, scratch. Well, not scratch, but there's a smudge. Uh, and then you have some numbers here uh, that kind of throw off the whole thing. Toy Hacks will fix that. And then you have the weapon on the, the arms. Uh, I like it. This I like this way more than I did Skullgren. Uh, but I think of all three, Iguanus still holds the uh, top spot. So, All right. There's no real articulation. So, you know. Fun time, let's do some size comparison with Studio Series 86 Ironhide, War for Cybertron Siege Rainmaker's Acid Storm, and Origin Bumblebee, a deluxe figure that's almost the same size in alt mode. Okay, and now to put him back in robot mode. And for my final thoughts, I love this guy. Uh, not only does he remind me of the time I played with my cousin, he's an actually good throwback to the G1 figure, and he looks really good, the articulation, the engineering, the paint, or a core class figure, it's really good. And I think I found his job, he's a mechanic, right? Because that's kind of like a wrench. You know, pipe wrench, maybe. I don't know, just having fun. So there you go, guys. Here's my review of core class legacy uh, bombers, uh, pretender, reimagining, and it's really good. So get it, you won't be disappointed. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.